So it finally happened. Of course, it had to happen on the day that I started needing Walmart Spark the most. I just got fired from my job a few hours prior, and then I went to go sign into Walmart Spark, and I got verification checked. It asked for both pictures of my license, say that this is my license, took a picture of the front, took a picture of the back, and then it asked me to um, hold up my phone like this, take a picture straight on, turn a bit to the left, and then turn a bit to the right. And then two minutes later, when I went to go click Spark Now, it just didn't turn on Spark Now, and then it started showing this. So in this video, I just wanted to go through how Walmart has no transparency around how you got deactivated or why you were deactivated, as well as the steps that you can take if you are deactivated, and everything that I've been doing to try to get reactivated on Walmart Spark. So are you aware that Walmart Spark can deactivate your account for pretty much no reason? I think that it's time that I start to unveil the truth behind Walmart Spark's deactivation process. So what leads to a deactivation? It could be for various reasons. They state that it could be for violating community guidelines or engaging in suspicious activities. I've heard from numerous drivers who were left puzzled and frustrated and they were deactivated without any warning or explanation. Imagine losing your access to a platform that you've been a part of for years, you lost a sense of income, and you're not able to use something that could help you in a tough situation. So I wanted to find out what does Walmart or Walmart Spark have to say about this. They claim that deactivations are done to ensure a trustworthy community of people that are delivering orders to their customers. They also said that they strive to protect their customers from harmful drivers. But shouldn't there be more transparency for drivers as Walmart's contractors? Shouldn't drivers deserve to know why their accounts are being deactivated? I have no idea why my account was deactivated. There was no warning, there was no notification, I was just suddenly locked out. It's frustrating and it feels unfair. I needed to go back to this immediately after losing my job and now I have to struggle to figure out what to do. Not to mention that at least three other apps have either deactivated my account or locked my account, so I'm fighting with them as well. I decided to call Spark Support to see if I could get any information and see if there was anything else I could do other than just filling out a form that nobody ever answers. Let me play that for you real quick. Hi, thank you for calling. My name is Timmy. You will not leave your support for today. How can I help? Hello. Um, I'm calling because um, I had a verification, like an ID verification, and then immediately afterwards I got deactivated. Um, I'm wondering if there's anything I can do about that. Mm-hmm, I understand. Uh-huh, yeah, and for me to be able to pull up your account, can you please provide me your full name, email address, and mobile number, please? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and for this one, may I ask if, uh, when did you, uh, made a follow-up regarding with your account? So this happened on Wednesday of last week. Um, I... I'm not sure if I sent an email to the right person um, because I haven't heard anything about it. Okay, nothing to worry about that. Uh, with this one, is it okay if I just put you on hold for a minute or two for me to be able to check what is the status of your account? Yeah, definitely. Okay, thank you so much. Can you stay connected, please? I will. Yeah, hi, Justine. Hello. Yeah, hi, thank you so much for patiently waiting. Uh, yeah, uh, with this one, may I ask, uh, is this a, uh, have, or have you already received a notification in regards with the activation of your account? Like a, a text message? Like, uh, yes, like SMS notifications, like that. No, I haven't. Mm -hmm. I see. With regards to this one, may I ask if you have already tried to fill up the form for the action, the activation appeal? Um, I'm not sure what I filled out, but um, I went through like the FAQs and, and filled out something. Okay, uh, you just have to fill up this form and uh, yeah, in regards to the appeal, you can see it all there, okay? And nothing to worry because I will make a uh, full document documentation, sorry about that. Uh, I will fully document this one. So yeah, I will also make a follow-up regarding with this postmark, okay? Yeah, that's it. Uh, since you have already mentioned that you've already tried to fill up the form at uh, both of the websites, all we have to do now is to wait for the update and nothing to worry uh, because I will be uh, making a follow-up with regards to this one, okay? 
Yeah, hi, thank you so much for patiently waiting. Yeah, uh, as per checking, as you have mentioned earlier, that you have already signed up for the deactivation at jiforspark.walmart.com, correct? I filled out, yeah, I believe that's the form I filled out. Yeah, with regards to this one, as you have mentioned, that you've already submitted a, a, a appeal for the deactivation of your account, and nothing to worry. Uh, yeah, what I'll be doing now is to make a follow up, and please be rest assured that you will be updated once it's done, okay? Okay. Um, do you happen to know how long it might take? Uh, I really want to. Uh, know it as well but uh however there's no um like there's no way for us to show it here on our end okay because it, that's for another department no so worries i already made a follow-up regarding with this one okay okay is there any way to contact that department or like can you transfer me to them mm -hmm. one moment okay let me check what i can do here for you okay yeah no problem Okay, we stay connected. Yeah, hi, thank you so much for patiently waiting. As per checking, uh, however, there is no way for us to transfer uh, this kind of concern here on our end. All we can do now is to make the follow-up uh, by using our system. But for the call, uh, none as for now. Okay, no problem at all. Thank you for trying. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, aside from that, is there anything else that I can assist you with today? No, thank you. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Walmart Sparks guidelines outline the rules of using the platform, but I think that they need to be clearer and share more information about deactivation or add more clarity with deactivation because you can't call support and get reactivated. You can't even get in touch with anybody that deals in the appeals part of the company. And it's essentially a black hole of nobody answering when you try to make an appeal through the form that's given. So far it's been eight days and I haven't heard shit. I called support because I haven't heard anything back and after that phone call that you just listened to, I've just decided that I'm gonna submit the form multiple times until I hear something back. Many users just like me report being de deactivated for unintentional violations or pretty much no reason and then no reason is given for the reason that they were deactivated when they try to make an appeal. I haven't gotten any answer back from the appeals yet, so I'll let you know about that when I do hear back. But I think that it's time for Walmart to communicate better and give second chances or at least some transparency to why they decided to deactivate somebody. So I hope from this, if you are a Walmart Spark user, if you are a driver, be cautious and make sure that you follow the guidelines. If you have been deactivated, don't lose any hope and let me know down in the comments. All of us that's been deactivated, let's come together and demand clarity from Walmart Spark. And if they don't answer, then let's start some action against them. Share your stories down in the comments, tag Walmart if you want to, and then use the hashtag Walmart Deactivation Truth to bring attention to this issue. Also, I forgot to mention that there's this change.org petition that's currently at 458 signatures. The next goal is 500. If you do want to sign this, it would be great. This petition is just about drivers saying that their accounts are being deactivated for no reason and no responses are given for like privacy reasons. The more people that sign this would be great so that way Walmart can start to change unjustified deactivations and also they could start to be more transparent about the deactivation process or like why accounts are being deactivated. I'll include this link down in the description below. Um, you don't have to pay money for it, it's completely free. So feel free to check it out. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates and I'll let you know if I get reactivated and then also the whole entire process I went through to get reactivated. And also join me in demanding for transparency. Together, I think that we can really make a difference. Hit the thumbs up on this video if you can to get this video out to more people so I can reach more people that have been deactivated and we can start to join together to demand more transparency on deactivation processes. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in a few days. Bye.